PSG was founded by Yanni Mouton, and its main assets are Capitec, Caro Holdings, PSG Consult, PSG Private Equity, and Zida, not forgetting that agricultural element. Right, Yanni Mouton, of course, Stellenbosch based. This company's done spectacularly well because obviously Capitec's done spectacularly well, and Caro has done spectacularly well. And your market cap, 46.6 billion rand, PE ratio of 28.3, dividend yield here of 1.6%. Again, the question comes to mind, do you take these individual stakes or do you play PSG? And I suppose as a hedge fund manager, it gives you the same opportunity yeah. that Remgro does. Uh, this one's a bit more concentrated. Uh, listed assets make up the bulk of the portfolio. Uh, that Those private equity assets only about 4% of NAV. But I guess these guys have really been value creators and everything that they've touched uh, they have generated significant value uh, in particular areas, so uh, banking first, private education. education, agriculture to some extent, agro. Uh, so, and I guess people are quite bullish about the potential of that private equity portfolio because what's coming out next? They've got some tertiary education, they've got some energy assets in there uh, with renewables. So it looks quite exciting and typically the, the, the market has been backing the team. We have seen the discount widen recently, I think as those shares get to record highs, the underlying holdings, people are saying maybe I just want Capitec now, Cura is too expensive for me. So you can pick and choose, I guess, at these levels. Mm. Well, just remind us what we did. We uh, at some point owned a bunch of the underlyings like Zeda and Capitec and others. Then we bought PSG. But then when we made the transition of the portfolio, I decided the piece that I really liked the most was Cura. So that's the only piece of the empire that we own. So we've actually had a lot of activity level. where this one is concerned, relatively yeah. speaking. Yeah, look, Capitec is a very interesting one because that is really at the core of it. And that but is we no consistently longer have any exposure. Done, yes, very Capitec. well. Share price is interesting too. They did raise more money right there at that peak there in the middle in 2015. They went to the market and then it came down again. So really, I mean, Yanni Mouton's timing is immaculate. He, uh, Can't he, fault him. Yeah, certainly. I think uh, investment genius. I think uh, that, that spike was when uh, the share moved into the top 40 and there was uh, a liquidity event and able to raise significant capital off the back of that. Uh, I think they've so shown themselves to be incredible capital allocators and that's what the market really like. They take the capital, reinvest it, redeploy it and also uh, in entrepreneurs, they're growth investors, which is also nice to see in, in, in the South African economy. We're hot running out of time. We've got to mm. call it hot or not. I'm going to call it hot. It's fairly close because I worry sometimes, some nights about Capitec, but it's really continued to trade very well and so there's no real concern there. And then Caro, I think, has got enormous upsides. Hot or hot. not? Yeah, we like it at these levels, hot.